Hey there folks, we just covered a little bit of information on how to mill and store your wood. Uh, and now we're going to cover uh, another little tidbit in the same vein as to how to prevent insect damage to what wood that you have milled and or uh, cut down. The first thing that you really should do to prevent this uh, infestation is to remove the bark. The bark beetle loves to get underneath the bark and it's a perfect habitat for him or her. I don't know if they're transgender or not, but they will get in here and they have actually gotten into this red cedar that I have. If you look at this fine powder, there it is. This is what they leave in their wake. Um, fortunately, it hasn't caused enough damage to this, this particular log. So I can go ahead and use it. If it did, I would have probably have to consider pitching it if it was going to be used for anything structural. Um, but I'm good on that. I'm just going to make a, a hope chest for my daughter. So that's not structural unless she stands on it or something weird. So first you take off the bark. Next you want to get it off the ground as soon as possible. And this way, no animals or insects can just crawl in there and it keeps the moisture away, which is something that the... Uh, insects will gravitate to a, a damp, moist condition, which is counterintuitive because another thing that you can do is to store it under a mist, which for folks like ourselves is probably not a practical thing to do, but if you were a lumber mill and or goes to one, you will see that they do actually hose off all the wood that they have milled in the back and collect it all and spit it back up, I hope. Um, uh, another thing that you can do with this particular log, this is some western red cedar that I, uh, my neighbor cut down in his house, or aromatic cedar rather, and it's and they cut it into you know, firewood sized chunks. It is actually possible and conceivable for uh, a common woodworker to store this underwater, which would then prevent any further damage or any damage at all, because I don't think there's an underwater beetle yet. but. Give it time, Mother Nature will prevent. Uh, and probably first and foremost is when you actually harvest. You need to harvest it in October and November, the dormant months. And that will, uh, that, that's a, a low, uh, low insect activity month. They're, they're dormant, so they, they're not gonna be feasting on your soon to be end table. Um, and for further research, I have the wood handbook here which is uh, published by the uh, USDA Department of Agriculture and they have a lot of good information here one of it which is a chart here telling you what these little uh, evidence of uh, insects insect infestation what the, the insect is and uh, the cures and how it when they start feeding on the wood and when they stop and what they're doing and how deep and Etc. Etc. A must-have. You can also download it as PDF online, so you don't have to buy the book. Uh, pretty much that's that. And now we're going to go into the next section, which I forget. <laughs> <laughs>